Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Chapters. The topic of ratios. This is what I started in my previous video, and this is an extension of the knowledge of the topic of ratios. Identifying proportions and finding the missing terms in a given proportion. A very important concept for all the quantitative aptitude exams, uh, government exams, and uh, this is taught at class sixth level. And you know you can't escape this topic uh, if you want to clear any of the Olympiads or NTSC or whatever uh, uh, exams you are aspiring to clear. So watch the entire video and then download the 60 question practice PDF from the link given in the description box below. That is very important. If you only watch the video, it's not going to solve the purpose because whatever I am solving here is my practice. It is not your practice. Your practice will be done through the 60 questions practice in okay so we have some uh, best offers going on uh, from uh, the, uh, this channel ebook of short tricks is up for grabs uh, you know 350 short tricks typed in 338 pages video support if you don't uh, understand something from the ebook just click the link and watch the video the reasoning course is already creating waves in the market uh, you know it comes with the video support you know, CBSC practice worksheets is something we have been working really hard on and you won't find a better collection of questions anywhere in print form or in soft copy form on the internet. If you want to grab a copy of all these exclusive contents, then WhatsApp 9896369963, note down this number or pay visit to www.sureshagarwal.in, that's my website. And uh, the link in the description will take you to the 60 questions practice PDF based on this topic. Let's see the questions in the first one. Check whether the following form a proportion or not by finding the product of extremes and product of means. Very important. You know, when you have one ratio and then proportionality sign and then another ratio, C ratio D, the first and the last, you know, they are called extremes. They are called extremes and the middle two are called means. Now, whenever you have to check whether these four numbers, they form a proportion or not, then there is a rule for that. And the rule is that the product of the means, that means B into C and the product of the extremes, that is A into D should always be equal. If they are equal, the two products are equal, then the four terms are in a proportion, they form a proportion, but if they are unequal, then they are not in a proportion. Let's see the first question, like 25 ratio 10 and 28 ratio 14. If you see the product of 25 and 14, that is the product of extremes, then 14 for the 77 and 14 to the 28, 35, 350, whereas the product of means that is 10 and 28 is 280. These two products are not equal and therefore this uh, you know, equality of two ratios is not a proportion. So very, very simple uh, method through which you can identify whether four given numbers form a proportion or not. Let's check the other one, 21, 9, 35 and 50. So if you take 51 and 15, the extremes, this is 15, 5, 1 carry, so 3, 1, 5, and 9 and 35, that is again, say 5, uh, 31. See, 315 in both cases, and therefore, yes, it forms a proportion. So product of extremes and product of means, this is the important concept on this slide. There are many other concepts of proportion. Let me show you some some more of the important questions. Determine if the following ratios form a proportion. Now here also the same thing goes, but the unit conversions comes into play here. 200 kg and 40 kg. See, the unit is same here, right? Whereas the other part, 75 meters and 15 meters is also same unit. Whenever in one ratio, you have the same units, and the other ratio also, the two terms have the same unit, then you don't need to go for any conversions. You don't need to worry about any conversions. But in case there was a kilogram here and a gram here, then 
first thing is to equate the two units and then go for the product of extremes and the product of means. Really important, right? Okay. Let's see whether they form a proportion or not. How about the product of extremes? 200 and then 50. The product is 50 to the 30 followed by two zeros. The product of means is 40, 75, 15 for the 300 and a zero, right? The two uh, products are exactly the same and therefore, yes, they form a proportion. See, no conversion of units there is, a, is an important thing here. Likewise, in the second question, if you see 15 centimeters and 7.5 centimeters, 7.5 centimeters, and then we, we have 12.5 seconds and 2.5 seconds. So we don't need to bother about the conversion here also because in these two we have centimeters and in these two you have seconds. So multiply the first and the last, the middle two 7.5 and 12.5. Check whether you are getting the same answer or not. I think it will not be same. Why? Because 15 to the 30 and uh, 0 0.5, 37.5. That's a very small number and 12 sevens are 84, it will be a large number. It, it's a larger number and therefore they are not equal. The products are not equal. So not a proportion. So this is another important question where the, sum, where the units are mentioned. Let's see this question. In each of the following proportions, find the missing term. Now this missing term can be any one of the four, any one of the four terms. You have to find that missing term. You already know the rule now. The product of the extremes and the product of the means. They always have to be equal if it forms a proportion. Now in this question, it is mentioned that it is a proportion. So if it is a proportion, then the product of extremes should be equal to the product of means. Right? So let's take the product of extremes. X times 40.5. And how about the product of means? 27 times 9. And in the other case, X times 24 is equal to 48 times 13.5. So we can find X. You can take this 27 times 9 and 40.5 will move to the denominator. And in this case, 48 times 13.5 upon 24. So 24 comes in the denominator. So can you cancel this 24 with 48 two times? So you have the answer for the second part. 13.5 into 2 is 27. That's the answer for the second part. For the first part, you need to just cancel some of the common factors which you, uh, I think you can see there. See 9 1 times, 9 4 times is 36. So 45. So 4.5. And 4.5 cancels 27 exactly 6 times. So just check x equal to 6 is the answer for this particular question. So friends, not difficult, but understanding plays a vital role in getting to the answers of these particular concepts of proportions. A very, very important video for all my junior students and for competitive exams. Friends, download the 60 questions practice worksheet from the link given below. I'm sure this is going to be proved uh, uh, to prove very uh, you, you know useful for your preparation for your school exams and I'm sure you're going to rock. So share this video with your friends. Do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this and all the best.